Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is still Monday, November 25th, 2019. I am the Drunk Poke Crew. Tis beer time. Two for Monday. Well, why not? Um, I do enjoy the Monday night footballs. Now, I know the big game is the Sunday night footballs. Last night was also the Grey Cup. There's lots of Leaf games on. I enjoy Monday night football. It's just one of those things. I used to watch it with my grandfather. You know, Grandpa would stay over at their house once a month uh, for a school thing, and I would always watch the game. Um, didn't matter who was playing. He was a Packers fan. I'm also a Packers fan. Not a Packers playing tonight. I digress. <laughs> like a base. Like a base. Uh, sent me this hat a while ago. It's a very comfortable hat. I will say that. It's one of the most comfortable hats I've ever received. I do like hats. Don't send me any more hats. Just kidding. I love hats. Because <laughs> it's not because I'm going bald. I've been shaving my head for a long time. Anyways, beer. Uh, you know, others people who are much smarter than I, who have much better equipment than I do, because I just use my phone, um, they, they would chop all this up and make sense of it. I'm, I'm going to leave it all there, because I have no idea what's going on. Northern Glow, Brute IPA, 4.3%, Sparkling IPA, the only LCBO Brute IPA I think I've seen. I mean, I've had a few Brute IPAs from different breweries. Uh, it never did take off as a style, and, and that's fine. I mean, you know, not every style is going to take off. I enjoy, I've enjoyed the few I've had. Uh, some of them have been really well done, some not so much. But, I mean, putting in the LCBO is kind of interesting, I guess. And you're thinking maybe Northern Glow. I mean, you're thinking maybe New Year's Eve, people popping these. Why not? Lega Base has definitely changed their um, image with a lot of the releases they put out in the last year or so. Last year, two years. Um, they, they, they were seen as kind of staid and, you know, kind of boring and, and they've really amped it up with a lot of new releases, a lot of IPAs, a lot of, you know, some, and sometimes you, you take chances and it doesn't always work. But I applaud you for taking the chances. That's one thing I, I can always applaud. I'm like, you know what? Screw it. They tried. It, it didn't appeal to me, but it turned out the way they said it was. So it's, it's a bubbly. Some orange and some grapefruit. Light citrus. Anyways, I cheers, my friends, to, to root IPAs. Cause why the hell not? That's going to be a tough one. I don't mind it. Um, and, they, and they, I mean, they say it. And I'm going to give them credit here. Dried orange and grapefruit peel. And that's exactly what it is. It is dried orange. And it's, it, it's not, it's like a zest almost. And there's the grapefruit pithiness there. There is uh, a herbal floral note in there as well. It is very dry at the back. And that's the Brood IPA's calling, right? It's this dry, effervescent, dry finish. So it hits the mark on that. I don't know that people are going to love this. Um, it's just something about this style of beer. <laughs> it just keeps hitting people weirdly. They did use wheat in here too. I am getting some of those weedy notes. I almost want to say there's a spiciness in there too to it. Again, do I like it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it's nice to try. Commercially, I think there are other beers, the New England IPAs, you know, like those things really are a bigger hit. A bigger market for them, true. Like people just did, again, people haven't glommed onto the brewed IPA the way maybe some thought they would. I knew it wasn't going to be a hit. It's not hazy, tropical, juicy. Um, it tends to be a little more bitter, a little more pithy, and and definitely that dry kind of very dry finish without that juicy pop. Uh, it doesn't appeal. But there is going to be people who enjoy this. So look for it. Try it. Give it a try. If you haven't tried a brewed IPA, at least this is you can say you've had one. And check it off your list. Cheers, my friends. Enjoy your Monday. I will see you tomorrow. Mm. It's a brute from Legabase.